the Beach FM Business Lunch Show, brought to you by Placemakers, Kapiti and Orofenua. Together we're building New Zealand. Welcome back to the Business Lunch Show on Beach FM 106.3 with Damien on your Friday afternoon. And let's talk arts now, and let's welcome into the show Kira Jones, our good friend at Beach FM. G'day, Kira. Hi, Damien. It's awesome to talk to you. Yeah, you too, mate. How are you doing? It's been a while. It has been a while. It's, it's crazy times, right? Um, mostly doing pretty good. I mean, the, everything's so unpredictable, but we're in level two now. Uh, last night, pubs were open to be able to go and have a beer, which feels like a nice return to normal. <laughs> Whatever normal is these days. Yeah, well, that that is the question. We talk about the new norm now, right? Yeah. Which uh, I think is really an interesting idea. I'm all for it. Um, and as a as a creative working inside the creative industry, new normal brings creative thinking to the plate. So um, I'm really hopeful for a lot of things there. It, it's been a it's been an interesting time for all of us. It, things have adapted. Like you know, normally we'd be getting ready for a gig the, on the weekend or, or or going out to an adventure somewhere, but we're a bit restricted at at this time. Firstly, what is your passion in arts? Like, how, how long have you been dabbling? How long have you been a creative person? Has it been from the womb? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look, I was born with creativity in my blood. Um, I've always been a, a really eccentric creative child, I think might be one way to put it, <laughs> idiosyncratic. Um, so, no, I was always involved in art. So as a, a four-year-old, I did my first acting class. Um, so I was involved in acting from four till I was about 18, pretty heavily. Uh, and in amongst that, obviously, I did art at college uh, and got really into that as well. Um, and so I've sort of dabbled in, in all kinds of creative fields for a long time. I'm an um, honours diploma graduate from the Learning Connection. I did that a few years ago. So that really made me look quite seriously at art as a practice. Yeah. And then about two years ago, I started looking into being more involved with art events, um, which meant you know, doing things like uh, managing base work, um, managing basement artworks in Paraparumi Beach for a little yeah. while. Um, and then that took me into uh, trying to establish a, a collective of artists, uh, which transpired into the Lindau Artist Guild, which I'm founding director of, um, which I, obviously under you know um, COVID-19, that sort of caused us a, a little bit of issue because how do you now present artworks in a public setting when we can't have gatherings? Um, so I think it's been really fascinating and amazing to see how so many artists and art organisers have started to turn to technology to say, well, what can we do here? Um, and they've set up things like online galleries, uh, which is amazing. So shows and exhibitions can still happen. It's just all online, yeah. which obviously poses some interesting difficulties when you're a textural artist. You, you know what it's like when you stand in front of a painting that's very different from looking at a painting. Yes. Um, so I think we're going to start to have to really look into ways where we can replicate that feeling as much as possible and use our creativity in a technological sphere, uh, which I'm really excited for. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, how has been? Uh, how have you been during this time? Like, have you been creative? Have you been uh, dabbling with a bit of things? Oh, honestly, I wish I could say that I have been creative in my personal art practice, but. Um, I really haven't. I've really been struggling with a, a creative block, uh, which has forced me to turn more into my writing as a creative outlet. So I daily write and I'm working on some uh, short fictions and things like that just to have a, a creative outlet somewhere. But I just cannot draw anything or sculpt anything. And it's the longest time I've had a block in my entire artist practice, really, wow. uh, which is quite interesting. Yeah. I know some artists can be quite uh, introverted and, and you know the stay at home kind of people but you're you're very much a hands on people and you a per, people person and you love being around people which has led you to uh work on a few things around the uh, arts trail etc earlier this year. Yeah, yeah, no that that definitely did. Um 
I mean, I do, as a creative, I'm very comfortable hermiting, yeah. I'm very comfortable doing that uh, because you've, you've got this world in your head that you can live with and play around with and pull ideas from all the time. I think most creatives are quite used to being able to do that. But uh, as we were talking about before, having that other side, which is really heavily involved in the arts events, stuff that's where I really get a kick out of the people interaction um, and obviously I mean that's that's not happening at the moment so there's sort of a bit of a starve happening there for me too I think yeah where um in regards to the changing of, of times and, and and how people have adapted to technology is that something that you're going to take on more and, and maybe explore a bit more from this yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think especially with um, the Lindau Artist Guild, there are so many different artists involved there, and some are doing some incredible things. Um, uh, Toby Wilsma is working on his graphic novel, and he's heavily involved with promoting that, and it's it's doing fantastic things there. And because he's a digital artist, he doesn't have that barrier between uh, standing in front of a work of art and seeing something different than you do on a screen yeah. um so he's really really fortunate for that which is fantastic um but you know being able to create something that still gives a, a replica of what it's like to to be in that gallery environment that really interests me and i think that really interests quite a few of the um artist guild members as well so yeah we will look at seeing what we can do um going forward from here um, to yeah, to to really try and still be involved as much as we can with the community around us, because Capital Coast has such an incredible creative community, um, and we yeah, we'd really like to stay in touch with that. And and so during this time when we can't have groups from more than ten, how do you think that the industry and, and the and the vibe around is going to thrive and continue to grow? I actually think you know. Um, everyone's really banding together. Everyone's so aware of all the limitations that we've got. And because we all share in this, that really pulls uh, a common ground. Um, and I think people are really getting behind and understanding um, the need to support the arts. And um, and I think, you know, that, that, that kind of pulls on a different type of community, an online community. Um, and I think that's going to go really well um, from what I've seen so far. And I know that, you know, many artists are now more and more aware of having to have that. I think this push uh, coming from the limitations from COVID are, are really inspiring artists to get more involved with the technology that they have on hand. And that becomes a new form of creative process. I mean, artists are always trying to upskill and, and develop themselves as artists and techniques and all of that beautiful amazing creative process stuff and now they get to play with that with technology and the wonderment of the world wide web and i think that's quite exciting it's an opportunity yeah limits are uh, endless yeah definitely yeah I, yeah absolutely uh, hey mate um <clears throat> i really appreciate your time i won't take up too much more but where can people find you and and how can they get in touch the Lindau Artist Guild page is still up and running. If people are interested in being involved in that and seeing what we're doing next, uh, you can check them out on Facebook. There's links through the Lindau website as well. Uh, so that's a great starting point to, to get any contact with any of us. Awesome stuff, mate. Well, thank you so much for your time to talk arts. Um, all the best, mate. Hope that creativity comes back for you shortly and we'll catch up soon. Yeah, thanks, Damien. It's been awesome to talk to you, mate.